Welcome back. You're watching the Jackson Little History Show. I'm Harry Reagan. Our guest now is Megan Powell, Administrative Assistant and Event Coordinator at the Historical Society. Megan, welcome. Hi, Harry. Thanks for having me. Uh, we want to talk about a program coming up next month, mm -hmm. uh, celebrating or commemorating, commemorating maybe, <laughs> yeah. uh, Hurricane Dora. Uh, hurricanes are not as newsworthy in Jacksonville because we don't have as many of them as some parts of the state, but this was a doozy. Right, yeah. Uh, I think people who don't live in Florida maybe assume that we just constantly have hurricanes all the time, but uh, not Jacksonville, no, no, not so much. We might have some hurricane parties maybe <laughs> uh, and celebrate with the rest of the state or commemorate maybe. But uh, yeah, very, very true. Mm -hmm. And uh, so it was a, a, a very bad hurricane, a lot of damage oh, and yeah. so forth. Uh, Dora ended up doing um, about $200 million worth of damage in Jacksonville alone, um, or in Duval County alone, the first coast, uh, and ended up doing about $300 million dollars in damage uh, by the time it was back mm -hmm. in, uh, in the Atlantic. So yeah, very, very dangerous. Well, let's take a look at uh, some of the uh, photos which sure. will tell the story. So uh, this first photo here um, is from uh, the Times Union uh, and it shows the path of Dora. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I think what, besides, you know, Dora being the first strike uh, to the first coast uh, in about a decade, um, Dora is also famous for making uh, this famous U-turn um, and so uh, September 6th, it's sitting outside of the coast and mm -hmm. uh, just kind of spending and idling and they think maybe it's gonna go back into the Atlantic and just kind of go away. And uh, it doesn't and it starts heading for, um, for St. Augustine. Makes landfall in St. Augustine the 9th and the 10th, uh, gets to Jacksonville and as the papers love to say, turns on its heel mm -hmm. uh, towards uh, the, uh, the west, towards the Panhandle. Uh, gets to Apalachicola and Alabama has a cold front and sends the uh, hurricane back towards back towards Jacksonville. So wow. yeah, uh, Jacksonville gets about six and a quarter inches of rain on um, the first time through and then it gets about another two inches uh, uh, when it's pushed back. Mm -hmm. So yeah, uh, lots of flooding, lots of damage. Um, so 50 years later we're uh, commemorating this uh, event mm -hmm. and uh, we have not had that many hurricanes since Dora. No. Uh, uh, really? No, not really. Uh, you know, we have Andrew come in yeah. in 92, but, but nothing really uh, uh, in, um, in Jacksonville's area, you know, mm -hmm. that does a lot of damage. So, uh, so what uh, the Historical Society is having a program. Yes. And uh, we're September going to 4th. show uh, a, a special mm -hmm. produced by WJXT TV4. Mm -hmm. And w we get to preview it. Uh, preview, yeah, we're special. Uh, yeah. The, before it actually airs on Channel yes. 4. Yes, couple, I think almost a week or mm. a couple days at least before it airs. Um, uh, the documentary will be um, on the destruction of Dora, you know, the, the everybody getting prepared for it, the Red Cross, and um, it will also be uh, talking about George Winterling and how he the, was uh, the- legendary The legendary George Winterling. The legendary, yes, right. uh, and how he was the only meteorologist to uh, to accurately portray mm -hmm. uh, the path that it would take. Um, they'll talk about the famous U-turn, and then of course they will talk about um, our the president, President Johnson coming into town, mm -hmm. followed by the Beatles, and so uh, talk about some destruction, but some things that came out of it that are very memorable to I think a lot of people, a lot of our members hopefully. Yeah, so uh, let's go ahead and see some sure. more uh, photos um, here. So the next photo we have here is uh, in Avondale, and this is just showing uh, mm -hmm. The, the flooding that's co going on. Um, our next one is uh, Memorial Park mm -hmm. um, in the St. John's and how it's just, not only is it flooding the area, uh, but it is uh, taking down the, uh, the pedestals there uh, mm -hmm. on, the, um, on the park. So uh, this one, a little bit smaller, but in the upper left-hand side, uh, you've got a parking lot that's overlooking or that you can see the Main Street Bridge from mm -hmm. um, and in the larger photo that's the flooding this very <laughs> same parking lot so yeah. um, I think that's very telling um, it's also telling most of these fo photos are going to be from the Times Union or the journal mm -hmm. um, is where we got these uh, the next one is a uh, Yacht Club um, Road I believe mm -hmm. uh, in Ortega uh, and then this I, I believe it's a kid maybe or a gentleman standing there you know uh, the water is very high yeah. um, and so this is just showing the flooding uh, you do have a lot of damage 
Um, you've got about 42 homes, oceanfront homes. They're going to be swept into the ocean. Uh, and you're going to have 3,950 homes that are damaged just yeah. solely on the first coast. Um, about 300 of those are going to be damaged um, severely. Mm -hmm. But so this is, you know, and this is the reason, right? You know, we have a lot of flooding going on. Um, this is, this photo is interesting. Obviously, this is in, um, it's a house, you know, completely destroyed. This is in Ponte Vedra. Uh, mm -hmm. Beach, but this one is interesting also because this is the only photo that the archives, the Historical Society archives, um, actually has the right to. Uh, the other ones, like I said, are Times Union or journal photos. So uh, it's just an interesting point that we don't have very many photos, you know, that are our own. Mm -hmm. So, um, and then next, obviously, you have um, President Johnson, LBJ, arrived on the 11th. Mm -hmm. um, kind of a surprise visit to s uh, survey the damage. Um, he does a short press conference at NAS Jax, uh, basically declaring this a um, federal disaster area and uh, that they would allocate enough funds to, yeah. to help restore and rebuild. Um, but uh, I think in this photo, you've got the um, governor mm -hmm. and the uh, mayor, Andy and, Johnson. And uh, a, an even maybe bigger arrival. Uh, let's oh, let's right, take yeah, a look even, at the Beatles. Mm -hmm. And so the Beatles were scheduled to uh, perform at the Gator Bowl, mm -hmm. um, and uh, they are flying to Jacksonville on the 10th, and obviously they cannot get here, so they have to be redirected. And they land in sunny Key West and um, spend the day there. And the same day that you know LBJ gets to Jacksonville on the 11th, the Beatles arrive. Um, they held a press conference, you know, saying that they're not going to perform uh, to a segregated crowd. Um, at the Gator Bowl, and uh, luckily enough, Jacksonville did the right thing. We have to uh, come uh, back and uh, revisit the, uh, yeah, the Beatles. Yeah, right. Visit. Yes, the Beatles. And, and one Beatle, uh, Paul, mm -hmm. came back for a Super Bowl. Yes. And yeah. then, uh, and soon to, to uh, come back once right. yet again. Yeah, so they had uh, a good time. Let, let's just uh, briefly mention, and we'll talk about them in future shows, mm -hmm. uh, two big events coming up that, uh, that are traditions sure. for the Historical Society. Yeah. Halloween event yes, and gingerbread extravaganza. Yes, yeah, so our Halloween at the casket party, our casket factory, excuse me, party, uh, it will be um, a little bit earlier this year. It'll be October 18th, 8 p.m. to uh, to 1 a.m. Uh, they'll have food, drinks, beverages. It's an adult party, of course, mm -hmm. um, and our 5,000 square foot casket building. Uh, thank you, Megan Powell, for being our guest on the thank Jacksonville you. History Show. And uh, for more information, visit our website, jackshistory.com or call 6650064. Until next time, we're history.